The other day I was scrolling and I saw a spring Walmart item and I thought, no way, that's gotta be from Pottery Barn. So then I started researching all of the new Walmart spring items and there are so many Pottery Barn dupes. I'm at Walmart today, I'm crossing my fingers that I'm able to find some. I'm gonna show you how you could style them in your home, maybe even do a few DIYs. You're not gonna wanna miss these. You guys are not gonna believe this. I'm on serious planter overload. There's so many I have to show you. Definite Pottery Barn dupes. This 12 inch bowl, $14.97 you guys. This is gorgeous. We're gonna get this and I'm gonna show you how you could style it as a centerpiece on your table. It also comes in an eight inch version. This one is 1098. It's a little bit different. You can kind of see the difference and how they look, but this would be gorgeous as well. This planter is so gorgeous. To me, this looks so high end in this beige color. This size, let's see, this is an eight inch planter. You can get it for $9.47. They also have a smaller one for $5.48. This is the one that I came for, you guys. I'm so excited they have it. This is $5.48. How gorgeous is this planter? I need it in my life. I'm gonna get some florals to put it in here, and I'm gonna show you how you can style this in your home. I found these beautiful baby's breath over in the floral section, and I bought three of them. I'm gonna remove the tags from the baby's breath. Next, I took each of the florals and just spread them out so I made them as full as possible. Then I bent the stems down at the bottom and I'll place all three stems into my container. Next, I went through and fluffed out the stems so they looked really cohesive and I'll show you how I styled it in my home. Oh, I'm so excited we found this one too, you guys. This scallop bowl, and it's in a really pretty gray, muted color. This is what the base looks like, and then it has this scallop edge. I feel like you could do so much with this around your home. This one's $9.98. Now with the gray planter, I wanted to put some succulents in here. You could actually put real or faux succulents. I'm gonna be using faux ones from Dollar Tree. I started by filling up the base with some rocks. I have this big container of rocks from Dollar Tree. So I just started putting some of those in there. These are my succulents and kind of stems that I have from Dollar Tree in various places. So I pulled out the ones that I wanted to use. I'm gonna start placing the succulents around my container, kind of varying the sizes and shapes. I came in with a few stems from Dollar Tree. This piece would look great in your home on a side table or coffee table. Now a great idea for a trinket tray would be to get one of these saucers. They come in three different sizes. They have the eight inch one. They also have a six inch one, or you could get the larger one, which is 10 inch. You can also get the planter as well. I love all the texture on this plant saucer, so I don't want to completely cover it up, but I'm going to add to it a bit. I'm gonna be using a sample paint I had in the color creamy white. And like I said earlier, the scalloped border is so popular right now, so I wanted to do kind of a scallop trim with my paint. So I'm gonna do a straight line across, and then I'm going to just use my brush to create a scallop border. I'm gonna fill in the rest of the edge with the paint. I didn't wanna do two coats, so I just did a thick first coat, and then came in and added paint wherever I had an area that needed a little bit more. You could use this as a tray for keys. You could also use it for jewelry. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Comment the word of the day, which is Walmart.
This rattan planter is a great deal. It's priced at $29.97. It even comes with the pedestal down below. I just found this plant stand. This would make a perfect tray. It actually, I think, is supposed to come with legs, but what I'm thinking I'm gonna do, they have all these other plant stands. This one's priced at $7.97, so I'm thinking that we're gonna make just a taller plant stand with these two, so let's DIY that. This tray is so gorgeous. You could keep it the way it is, even put in the legs that come with it, but I wanted to make it a little bit taller. So with this plant stand that I picked up, I'm gonna be spray painting it outside. So I used a flat black spray paint and I sprayed the underside and I let that dry completely. Now to attach my tray to my plant stand, I'm gonna be putting E6000 along the edge and then I'll place the planter on top. Let that dry completely overnight and make sure you add in more E6000 along the edges. The next day you can style it outside or in your home. This would look great as an end table or you could use it as a plant stand. You can also pick up a hanging macrame plant table for under $15. I have one of these, you can now pick them up at Walmart or there's another option as well. Last year, I picked up these plant stands. They're really affordable, $12, and they work great in an outdoor space. These herb planters are amazing. I love how they look like slate. This one's priced at $12.98. It's all put together. This is gonna be perfect for organizing in my home. So I didn't wanna add much to these planters, but on the front of them, I'm just going to put some wood cutouts that I picked up at Dollar Tree. They were super affordable. They're out now for spring. And I'm gonna hot glue three of the flowers to the front of my container. Now I was trying to figure out what I wanted to use this for and I just kept thinking it would look perfect in my bathroom to organize all of my makeup brushes. So I'm going to put in some rocks from Dollar Tree, but you could put in beans or any kind of faux rock that you may have at the base. I can place all of my makeup brushes in here and it looks so pretty. They also have this version for under $10. This is another herb planter, but you don't have to use it for herbs. There's a lot of other options for these. This white herb planter would look gorgeous with herbs, but I was trying to think outside of the box. I thought it would be great sitting out in your bathroom. You could put all of your toothbrushes in here and it would keep them nice and organized. This style on this planter is super trendy right now, and it's quite a larger planter and looks like great quality. This one's priced at $24.97. They also have a green color as well in that same planter. They have a smaller version in the pink for $15.97. You guys remember that larger white centerpiece? You could also pick it up in the green. So I love that they have color options as well. This black twisted planter is eight inches. I love it, I feel like it's so unique. It's priced at $6.97. This twisted planter is so unique and looks perfect styled in my home. You can also get hanging planters. I found this one in kind of a metallic finish for $14.47 and they also have it in the white.
check out these Pottery Barn dupes over in the candle section. How adorable are these candles? They're priced at $18.87 for a pack of three. You can also get these really colorful and then check out all of these single candles. They're priced around $9, $10. You can get this version. They also have this version over here. Can you guys believe that Walmart has these candles? They are so adorable. I styled them in my kitchen along with a vase and stems. Over in the placemat section, they have these new metal placemats. They're black. These would make a great wall art option. I'm always on the lookout for DIY supplies. I found these faux leather napkin rings here at Walmart. They're $8.98. This black vase for $12.98 is for sure a Pottery Barn dupe. I came to the outdoor section here, you guys, and there are so many good items for spring and summer. I can't wait to show you all of them. Of course, my favorite one is this huge, look how big this is. This tray is so big, it's priced at right under $25. This would be great sitting out on your outdoor tables this year. I also love the color of these lanterns. Now these are priced at $35 each, so pretty, and they come with a candle. They also have a smaller size over here. Now, if you're wanting to do some outdoor remote lighting, you can get one of these woven pendants. They also have these large LED candles. I feel like this one under $10 for a nine inch candle is a good price. They have a black pendant light that you could pick up. They also have some really cute statues. Now check this out down here, you guys. You can get a garden stool. This is priced at $68, but it's copper, it's huge. This would be great for any of your outdoor blankets or pillows. When you're looking for Pottery Barn dupes, always check out the pillows. Now these are so affordable. You get a two pack of throw pillows for $14.96. These are so soft. I'm gonna show you how these look styled in my home. Let me know which of these Pottery Barn dupes you're gonna be picking up down in the comments. I love knowing your opinion. Make sure you subscribe because I wanna see you back here and I'll see you in our next one. Bye.